Virgos, gang, gang, thank you guys for tuning in to Real Retro with Renee. I truly appreciate it. I missed you guys, okay? I already did your pre-spread or whatever. I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. So I didn't want to take away from your reading because this is what fell out. All right, if you're new to Real Love Tarot, welcome. Okay, you guys, don't forget to get don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button as you guys follow in to watch this video. Okay, it does help the video circulate to other Virgos out there. And cross watchers, you are welcome here. You know my motto: if it doesn't fit, you must acquit. So don't try to for force the storyline if it does not fit your narrative. It's just not your reading. Okay, go to another tarot reader. All right, Virgos. So this is what I have. This is what fell out for you guys. So I wasn't gonna reshuffle because I'm like, nah. This is too good. Y'all deserve this. You know, the Empress is what fell out first behind the Ace of Wands. Okay. All right. So somebody wants to start something new with their Empress. Okay. And we have the King of Cups. Could be you. Right? It could be your energy. Mm -hmm. And the Ten of Pentacles. What? Virgos, y'all better tell me what's popping, team. Okay, so but everybody was manifesting during this uh this past new moon, right? Yes, so somebody definitely on uh, this King of Cups wants to come in and um leave a legacy with this um this empress, right? It could be your energy, it could be your you um you know it, your person's energy to get out resonates. Okay, yeah, the fool. Okay, right after that, so somebody wants to take a leap of faith. For sure. When the fool falls out on the end, baby. Somebody, that's, that's what it's showing. Yes. I love this energy, okay? All right. So, we got Empress on the board. Came out first, Virgos. Taurus, Libra, energy. Okay. I see y'all. I see y'all. This is beautiful. Well, I hope it stays beautiful. <laughs> I hope it stays beautiful. Let's see what happens. Do I want to keep, yeah, I'll keep clarifying with these cards, okay? Clarify the, uh, spirit, clarify the Empress, clarify the Empress. What's going on, Spirit? Okay, okay. What's going on, Spirit? Let me move the, let me move the camera back just a little bit, right? Okay. What's going on? Oh, I see a papara. Oh, somebody's had some awakening, right? Some spiritual awakening regarding this connection, yes? Regarding this empress, right? You could have, um, either you or your person could have, like, really had some type of aha moment. Whatever those past uh, beliefs were, spiritual beliefs, or just, you know, personal beliefs in general. Somebody um, has definitely had some type of spiritual awakening and realized that, um... The Empress is who they really want to be with, right? Um, and this also is telling me, too, that this is a spiritual connection, right? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, Page of Cups, right? Virgo, you want to come in and offer this uh, this cup of love, right? Start something new and offer, offer this cup of love. That's what's up. Correct by the King of Cups, okay, with no problem. Yeah, Ten of Wands, right? Because being without this Empress, Virgo, energy, yes, this is like creating a heavy burden for, for either you or your person. Your person could see you as the Empress energy or vice versa. Take it how it resonates. Mm-hmm. What about the Ten of Pentacles? What's the Ten of Pentacles? Somebody wanted to leave a legacy behind or start a legacy um, in this connection. Yeah, the Emperor. Then I, ooh, come on, spirit with the, yes. Uh, that's your energy, boo-boo. Yes, the emperor said, now nah, I'm stepping up. Okay, clarify the fool, spirit. Clarify the fool. Clarify the fool. Okay, I see you popping your big head out. Yeah, queen of wands. Ooh, okay. So what about this queen of wands? Right? Mm. What's that? What's what's going on with this Queen of Wands energy? Hold on, let me see something real quick. Huh. Maybe is the Emperor leaving a Queen of Wands behind and becoming the fool? Or is the or is the Queen of Wands an obstacle? That's too many spirit. Now we ain't gonna start gossiping like that. I'm not taking them. It's too many spirit. Like, listen, spirit, I need one for the people. Okay. <laughs> Y'all know me and spirit get they getting and getting into it. <laughs> Try because spirit be gossiping, gossiping sometimes. Yes. Three of swords. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. So listen. So you either you or your person, whoever embodies these energies, okay? 
All right, could be you, could be your person. Take it how it resonates. But there's a queen of wands that just popped out over the fool, right? This is telling me that this 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 emperor who's about to be a fool for this empress, because the empress fell out first, and here's the queen of wands. There is, so the ten of pentacles could be two things, right? You could have somebody, so you, either you or your person could be leaving some type of legacy behind, right? With this queen of wands, who is going to be in heartbreak. Yep. Somebody has made a decision to end something, right? And be a fool, um, for this queen of wands, uh, for this empress. Mm -hmm. It was probably a fool behind this queen of wands um, in the past. Yeah. And it caused heartbreak. Or somebody's being left out in the cold, right? Yeah. That's that's what intuitively what I'm getting um, the way these cards are falling out. And spirit just going to go on and, and, and flip the card so y'all can see it. <laughs> Yeah, Knight of Swords. Yeah, we have a Knight of Swords that's going to come in and be fast action and change something around in this connection, right? With the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. So the Ace of Pentacles is somebody wanting to invest in something new, right? Um, yeah. Yeah. And in something, didn't I say something was about to end with this Queen of Wands? Yeah, the world card fell out. High Priestess, it, Piscean energy. Yeah, because it's the truth be told that this, this emperor wants to be with his empress. And that's period dot. That's period dots. This, yeah. High Priestess, yeah. All the secrets and all of that, everything is about to come to an end. Yep. And somebody, and not somebody, either you or your person, emperor, Take it how it resonates, okay? If this is your story, you guys sound off in the comment field or whatever, okay? But this is literally what's about to go down. See, you, you or your person is about to end something with the world card here. It brings something to a complete end that's gonna break this queen of uh this queen of uh wands heart. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, yep. You're gonna be and they're gonna be a fool for this empress. Yep, because now they have some higher understanding about this connection. I can't make it up, right? Y'all know the Hierophant, that's, this is religion. Whatever the old belief system was, somebody has come to some type of new understanding and some new uh, way of thinking with regards to how this connection is, right? Because you're, per listen, and it's going to be so much heartbreak. Oh, my God. It's about to be a mess. I'm going to just tell y'all right now, just the way everything is falling out. Uh-huh. Yeah. This Queen of Wands is about to be left out in the cold and heartbroken. I can't even make it up. Mm-hmm. You see how these cards is falling? Yeah. High Priestess. So, intuitively, this Queen of Wands could know that something is about to come to an end and that um, either you or your person... Is about to you see what I'm saying? Whoever this resonates for, take it out because it could be for the cross watcher too, right? But Virgo, somebody's about to be a fool and end something with this Queen of Wands, and it's gonna cause a lot of heartbreak in this connection. Yeah, but something has to be done. Mm -hmm. Somebody is ready to give um and start fresh, invest in something new. For some of you guys, this is new income coming in. For some of you guys, yeah. But um, the yeah, we got the knight of the knight of swords. Yeah, something's getting cut out. Something's getting somebody's about to be cut the entire hell out with this knight of swords energy. Mm hmm. Somebody's about to take charge of a situation and 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 move this and move this right along. Clarify the higher front. Clarify the higher front spirit. Ciao, y'all. <laughs> Yep, this is, yeah, the tower. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because now that we have this newfound understanding or whatever, it's definitely about to bring a tower to this connection. Yeah, and heartbreak. Thank you, spirit. I'll take them. You flipping them. Yeah, and somebody's manifesting this. Yeah, with the eight of swords as well. Yeah, as well as the knight of wands. Wow. Yep. This Knight of Wands, this flighty little sucker, but you're coming back as an emperor here, right? With the Ten of Pentacles, yeah. You got the Ace of Swords here. Somebody's somebody's come to some type of mental clarity with the Ace of Swords um, about this connection. And you, you, either you or your person, wants to be with the Empress. And that's just period dot. I can't even make it up. So you're coming in as a Knight of Wands, very lusty and 
You know what I'm saying? Fiery. You could be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, but a tower is definitely about to be brought down. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I just want to learn a little bit more because I'm nosy. <laughs> Virgos, is this your story? Clearly, it's somebody's story. Oh, my goodness. Spirit, give me the... What's going to be the uh, final outcome? Thank you. Y'all see them fall out? They they flipped out because that's how I let them fall. But listen. Yeah, but they're going to come in fast with the Eight of Wands energy. Uh-huh. And that... Um, ooh, but somebody's in devil energy. And it's going to be a painful ending. Yeah. But this is about to be fast moving. Yeah. And this, and I'm telling you guys, I'm I'm strongly feeling that this energy is coming from over here from the night from the Queen of Wands, yeah, from this Queen of Wands with this heartbreak, yeah, yep. I I can't even make it up. Wow, yes, because there's this like, and so and and this is gonna like I said, there's gonna be heartbreak, but it's gonna be painful. Like with the Ten of Swords, this is a painful ending, very 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 painful. Very, very painful ending that's about to go down. Wow. Holy. Virgos, if this is your story, babies, I need you guys to sound off. Okay. Um. Oh, my goodness. I just need to know if there's any more uh, messages that... Let me let me pull from the from the Nipsey Hustle deck, aka, uh, uh, AKA Nipsey Hustle, but Holy Water deck. You can find this deck in my description box below, guys. Mm hmm. Let me just move these up. Yeah, because this is crazy. Yeah, but somebody's had some true awakening or whatever, right? So the, the download that I'm getting, you guys, is that somebody was stuck in a connection with the Queen of Wands energy. And it is, let me just say something about the Queen of Wands. Like the Queen of Wands, is, the, she's very beautiful, you know, very self-assuring and, you know, a feisty person or whatever. But you know what? With the devil energy coming here too, it could have been some type of deceit within this connection as well. But my concern is, is that, it's not really a concern. It's just that I know that none of the seven of swords or the five of swords have popped out, um, you know, during this reading. And but it's just telling me that something has is like been long overdue and that this should this tower should have been brought down. But for some reason, somebody was scared. Um, I feel like there was fear in letting something go. Right. And somebody is just finally putting their foot down. And you know what I'm saying? And, and just had some mental clarity. It's just like, you're just really not the person that I want to be with. Period. Dot. And it's just something about the Empress. Like, you understand what I'm saying? That this Emperor, he, I mean, we got two, we got two pairs on the board. I can't even make it up. Yeah. This King of Cups has stepped up and to his Emperor status. You get what I'm saying? And it's coming in for this Empress. It's just, it just is what it is. Y'all, yeah, and it's bringing down a whole tower, right? It's definitely bringing down a tower. All right, so let me see if I can get any more messages out of this deck on this side to see if there's any more players involved here um, in this connection. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me honest messages. Um, is there anything else that uh, Virgos need to know about this connection moving forward, right? Okay. Give me messages, spirit. Give me clear, honest, and true messages. Yeah, that's somebody that you're. Yeah, your person is single. Either you're your person, or you both are single now. Yeah, yeah. And let me tell you too, with this Ten of Pentacles, this popped out as well. Somebody wants to invest, but somebody's also leaving an investment as well. Somebody wants to give to give to this empress or whatever, but they're leaving. They could be possibly leaving a family behind. And that's like, that was also a strong, um, burp, burp. the world card popped out again. I can't even make it up. Yep. The world card popped out again. Where's, where's the world? Yeah, right here. Uh-huh. The world card. Something is definitely coming to you in double confirmation. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Something's ending. So something new can begin. Right? Thank you, spirit. Virgo, you better show up in your reading. Thank you, spirit. Wow. That's your energy. So, yeah, so this could be very well you going after your empress and you seeing F the rest. 
Ooh, y'all sound off in the comment field below. Mm. And let me tell you, this Queen of Wands is pissed, pissed because the devil came out. Yeah, yeah. And the middle way, the middle way, the uh, line between opposite extremes. Yeah. And that could have been the situation between um, you and this uh, Queen of Wands. Take it how it resonates, could be vice versa. But yeah. And it was just too extreme or whatever. And it cost too many burdens, right? And uh, with the Ten of Wands being here. And, you know, if you have a lot of opposite extremes in a connection, it can bring, you know, it can bring on this ten of swords energy and have a very painful ending. You know what I'm saying? I also gathering too that you were you're your person, I think how it resonates, was dealing with a lot of devil energy within this connection with the Queen of Wands. You understand what I'm saying? Even look how beautiful she is or whatever, right? But you know what is this like as beautiful as she is, there could have been a lot of devilish behavior, right? Now it could be male or female, divine feminine or masculine, take it how it resonates, okay? Um yeah, and somebody is just putting their foot down in this connection and letting it go, bringing it to the end with the world. Yeah, any more messages, Spirit? Thank you. Okay, wow. The truth, absolutely. And it says, no matter what happens outside of myself, I know that I am safe. Yes, High Priestess energy fell out. Yeah, the High Priestess came out. Mm -hmm. Hold on, where did it go? Where'd she go? Where'd she go? Where's my High Priestess, baby? Yeah, High Priestess energy did fall out somewhere on this table. Like, doggone it now. <laughs> Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? Oh, there she is over here hiding, child, hiding. Yeah, and then on my nails, Lord. Mm hmm. Yeah, High Priestess energy, the truth. Hidden Secrets is about to come out. And the hidden secret is that the, this King of Cups, who's turned him into the King of Wong, uh, Emperor, excuse me, the Emperor is going is really in love with their empress and they're about to bring this tower down right and and shake up this faulty foundation and go after their empress and that's just period dot okay all right oh my goodness gracious you guys you guys what's going on i was <laughs> just playing but i mean you know that's it just is what it is and you know, I think people are starting to wake up and you know what I'm saying? And it's going towards their true happiness versus settling for being in a connection that just they feel like no longer serves them. Right. Let me get you guys some quick angel oracle messages for us before I let you go. And let's see what spirit has to say on how uh, you and your person, your empress, uh, should handle this moving forward. Um, cross watch your queen of wands. Is this, if this is happening to you. Um, you, you know, sound off. I mean, you know, hurt is hurt. So I can't, you know, say, you know, who's right, who's wrong or whatever. I'm just the reader. I could just only pick up on the energies and how the tarot falls out. And this is just how it's falling out. Oh, goodness. Okay. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, please give me us angel oracle messages. Right? I see flippers here. I see flippers. Hold on. Spirit flip them. Where are the flippers? I just saw... Okay, I'm going to just keep shuffling because I don't know where it flipped. <laughs> I saw it flip. Give me honest angel oracle messages. Thank you, spirit. Oh, wow. Recovery. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Um, recovery is definitely going to be needed after this truth comes out. With, um, yeah. And this tower is brought down. Absolutely. I can't even make it up. Y'all see this, right? Mm-hmm. But Spirit is telling you that no need to worry, okay? And that you need to trust. Trust the process and that everything will be successful in the end. And for some of you guys, uh, Spirit is saying that, you know, you need to reconsider, right? How you're going to handle this possibly. I'm not sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there's a flipper. Oh, hold on. I'll just leave it because... Did fall out. All right. Any more messages, Spirit? Any more messages for Virgos and love? Thank you. Yeah, and if it's really that much of a burden, you need to ask for help from others, right? Get seek counsel, right? Because for some of you guys, you know, you know, you may want to reconsider this, you know, this this change, but we'll see. 
Ooh, and some of you guys' spirit is saying no. Or whatever. Uh-huh. Mm. Wow. But that in the near future. So for some of you guys, this won't happen right away, but it's going to happen in the near future. Okay? So this could be for cross watchers too. So if you're a cross watcher and you're embodying the Queen of Wands, and you know about this Empress, and you or you know your person wants to be with their divine counterpart or whatever, um, whether it's delayed or not, um, yeah, it may happen still in the near future, and that you may have no con no control over it. Okay, yeah, but you know. For some of you guys, if there's a family involved here, um, I think the no could be reconsidered sometimes. But listen, I don't in the, in the spiritual world, if there is a contract between this emperor and empress, it's divine. It's divine. It's it's all divine timing, right? Because the hierophant card fell out. Mm -hmm. The hierophant card fell out, right? So if there's a delay, it's, it's so that you can end it correctly and not just abruptly. Right, because what you don't want to do is have this uh ten of swords energy, right, and leaving this queen of wands in extreme pain. Like, you have to do it with class and dignity. And even though it will hurt, you need to um make sure that you consider their heart, you know what I'm saying, in with ease, right? This is for some of you guys, this will not resonate for all of you guys, but yeah. That's what I have for you, Virgos. Thank you guys for tuning in to Real Love Tarot with Renee. I hope this resonated with you. If so, please make sure you sound off in the comment field below. And you know, we're nosy over here at Real Love Tarot. We want to know everything. We want to know all the behind the scenes tea from the, from the, from the Empress to the third party to the Queen Quans. Like, <laughs> we want to know because there's always three sides to a story. His story, her story, and the truth, right? And some of you guys, this, you know, it could be a same sex relationship. It doesn't matter. You know, there's no gender in tarot. Okay. All right, you guys. Um, don't forget to hit the like, share, subscribe button, as well as if you would like to continue to donate to Relive Tarot, you could do so via Cash App. The link um, is in my description box below. If you want a personal reading, that link to my website, uh, uh, Relive Tarot by Renee.com, is also in the link as well. All right, babies. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.